All right, so let's talk about packing and unpacking code. It's 102 here. So um, there's a, some binary samples on the tech, on the uh, desktop of this machine, and we can look at it, Lab 0102 with bin text. And first, I'm going to just look at this one right here, the one we just made. Well, we already looked at the strings here, uh, but just for completeness, let's look at the strings of that 99 thing in bin text. What bin text is, is a McAfee tool that just finds strings in Windows code and presents them in a nice, pretty window here. So if I open that program, that 99.exe program, which is here, um, okay, 99.exe, and then I run it, it'll find the strings. You see this program cannot be run in DOS mode, and ah, just a moment, Something I learned last time is how to make that font bigger by making a shortcut and using Microsoft compatibility tools. So I'll do that if I run uh, bin text and I open the file location. I can make a shortcut, send to desktop. I said send to desktop. Yes. Okay, good. And now I can run it in 640 by 480 mode, which will make it easier to read. There we go. There we go. So now, when I run this thing and go, there. So this program will not be running DOS mode. Here's the text and R data section names. Here's uh, those, uh, there's going to be some Windows API calls and so on. And there'll someplace there'll be the strings that the developer actually wrote here. Uh, down here. Uh, this is 102. Uh, let me find my, uh, um, here. This is PMA 102. All right, good. And so anyway, this that's what this tool does. It shows you the same old strings that we saw in Process Monitor. Here they are, the strings we typed. And that's fine. But if you use this on one of the malware samples, it won't be there. And the malware samples are on the desktop from the book Practical Malware Analysis. And for, these, um, for this project, I want to look at labo102.exe. So I'll launch bin text, and I find the malware samples which are on the desktop. Practical malware analysis, and it's several folders down. Binary collection, chapter one, and there it is, because Lab 0102 is a packed code. And so when you look at it, notice this sort of broken URL, HTTP, and then it's broken, and fragments of something here like that might be .com. This looks like this would have been a URL, pointing to probably a command and control server, but it's broken up into chunks. And here's another one, get mo would have been something like get month or something, and it's not there. So the strings are like broken up. Now here's some strings that are not broken up. These are Windows API calls like load library and get process address. Um, and here's that string. This program cannot be running DOS mode that we always see, but it's not right at the start like it should be. There's one up here right at the start, but there's another one down here which is also not normal. So what this is is packed code. What you're really seeing here is mostly just the strings from an unpacker, like a self-extracting zip file, and the actual code written by the developer is concealed and zipped up and you can't see it until you unpack it. And that's the point of this one. So you can't see the strings. Now if you want to see uh, what language something is written in and what kind of file it is, there's a tool called PEID. And I should move my window a little bit higher. All right, this PEID tool is also pretty small. Let me make a shortcut to that to make it bigger. Uh, open file location. 
send to desktop. All right, and run in 640 by 480. All right, that should make it bigger. And so if I uh, open that malware sample from the desktop in here, well, first, let, all right, yeah, this is fine. So let's go here. Labo 102 is the one we're looking at. All right, notice nothing found. This is not normal. The main thing this thing does is tell you what program was used to compile it. And normally it would say something here like Microsoft Visual C++, but it's not able to tell what language was used to write this. And also, if you look at the sections, the sections have these weird names. Normal sections have the names I mentioned before, .text, .data, .rdata. That's what you see in a normal executable. But here you see just this UPX 0, 1, and 2. So that is the signature of the UPX Packer, which is a free open source packer that uh, a lot of people can use. And um, so let's unpack the file. If we go here uh, and go, well, that's the native tools command prompt. I don't want that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, probably the easiest way to do it is to first open the folders until I get to the right place. I'm trying to open that there. I have a little bit of lag. Binary collection, chapter one. All right, and now I can open a folder right here with file. I can open a command prompt right here. Open PowerShell. And now I'm already in the right directory, which is kind of a long, irritating directory. And now I can do a dir and see that uh, I've got the samples here. So this Labo 102 is packed. And you can unpack it with the UPX Packer, which is already installed on these machines. So UPX will give you a little help message. This is the ultimate packer for executables. And you can decompress files with minus D. And if you do that, you have to tell it where to put it with minus O to tell it what file to output to. So I can do UPX minus D minus O lab 0102 unpacked. .exe, and then the input file is going to be lab0102. So that will unpack it. It was 3,000 bytes. It will unpack it back up to 16,000 bytes. If I do a directory, I can see these other samples are, six, are longer. This one is really small. There's the unpacked version. So this unpacked version will now show me the strings. If I go back to that McAfee tool, bin text, I should see strings in here in a much more readable form. Let's close this to get rid of it. All right, so browse. The unpacked file and go. All right, now I see the, now I see text and our data here. And I see some Windows libraries and some Windows API calls. And uh, these are normal looking API calls. <coughs> and here are the strings. This is the Command and Control Center URL, HTTP, www malware analysis, book com. That's the uh, indicator of compromise that was mangled before. Little fragments of it showed in several lines. And uh, I think there's some more API calls. All these strings make a lot more sense now. So that's packed code and unpacked. And um, this is one way to unpack code, is if you can find the actual unpacker and run it. And there are a few open source unpackers out there. Um, so that's one way to go. And the next one, we're going to talk about how to unpack code if you have an unfamiliar unpacker that you can't find. You can use the unpacker built in the malware itself to unpack it, and that'll be the next thing.